I'm Janice Irwin, and my guest today is Jordan Sue, an acupuncturist. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Hi, Janice. Good. How are you? So how do you describe yourself as an acupuncturist, and what else goes uh, with that? I like to heal people when I see people uh, hurting or uh, have some illness, and um, I always want to search for the simple way and easy way for them and they can cure themselves. Mm. And you do that with acupressure, uh, acupuncture, and do you do herbal medicine also? Uh, basically, Chinese medicines, we do a lot of pressure points. And uh, by the pressure points, we can put needles in or we do uh, some muscle buzzing. It's kind of safe to give yourself energy. And also, just by massage, some points can unblock the blockage and make the energy moving, and when the energy is moving, usually people won't get sick. Okay. Where did you have your training? Um, I was trained in China and also in Taiwan, and I was born in Taiwan. Oh, okay, yeah. And then you, how far was it from Taiwan to where you studied your training in China? How far? Yeah, uh, like a long way. Yes. <laughs> I bet. China is this big. Yeah. Taiwan is this <laughs> Oh, my gosh. So you went a long way and uh, studied mm -hmm. acupuncture, right? Yeah. And then when you came to United States, um, you've been able to practice. Yes. Uh, I have to went through a lot of uh, national board tests and, oh. and apply for the license. Oh, so there's a whole national board exam yes, and in the America. licensing in America? Yeah. Oh, my God. And right now you're practicing in a couple different places in the capital region, aren't you? Yes. Uh, I'm practicing in Del Mar uh, at the Del Mar Wellness Center and also in uh, near Albany Colony, uh, Julian Art and uh, Chiropractic Center. Mm. I think uh, Del Mar Wellness Center is right on Delaware Avenue in Del Mar. What's the number there? Uh, Do you uh, know? 323 Delaware Avenue. Okay. And then uh, it's 3 Computer Drive West off of Wolf Road in Colony. Yes. It's the Healing Arts Center, too, yeah. right? How can someone get in touch with you, Jordan, if they uh, want to talk to you more person to person about acupuncture? Yeah, uh, welcome to call me because if you have any questions and there's always some simple way you can just uh, press some points. Can I, mm. like now it's winter so a lot of people's uh, the immune system is getting not too good so you can actually massage some points. That feels good. Here. Yeah, and you go all the way along here. And also around the elbow area you can massage it. Oh, and then wow. like this. So these are all very good uh, points to uh, in boost up uh, to boost up your uh, immune system. And also this one's very important uh, painkiller points. Oh wow! Yeah. So so if you have any questions, yeah. uh, you can contact me at three six four five nine three four. And that's five one eight area code. Yes. If you're like from out of the five one eight area code. Mm -hmm. Is it one five one eight three six four five nine three yes. four? Okay, and then locally, just do the three six four five nine three four. Yes. Okay, and you'll get Jordan. She can tell you all about it and set up an appointment with her mm -hmm. if you want. Jordan, I just found it so interesting how you got into acupuncture and mm -hmm. what led you into um, practicing Chinese medicine. Would you share it with the audience? Yes. When I was younger, um, I had lupus. And it's some kind of rosy rash on the face, and also it's kind of your whole immune system is really down. So mm -hmm. I went through a lot of doctors and Western doctors, but uh, nothing can help me. And basically, they want me to get a steroid, and that's the only oh. way. So wow. uh, by some coincidence, I went to some acupuncture treatment mm -hmm. and actually helped me. So at that time, I really think there's a lot of alternative way can really cure a lot of uh, symptoms, disease. Mm -hmm. so, so I just think that's the way I want to do it. Wow. 
Yeah. And then you had to go through years of training. Like, did you you have to have an undergraduate degree first to be an acupuncturist, uh, or how does that work with the training? Basically, my degree, uh, I was graduated from a college, but then I went through three years uh, in Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. And after that, I came back to my, uh, my country, mm -hmm. Taiwan, and I also studied uh, more local uh, alternative like energy healing and uh, we oh. do a lot of energy healing in my country too. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. You know you started to share with us um, about keeping the energy moving. Mm -hmm. I want to get back to that and have you share about what is sort of, I don't know if you call it the philosophy or the mm -hmm. theory behind acupuncture and acupressure as you kind of touched on. Mm -hmm. What's the idea of it, of what's happening? Uh, basically, um, we have a lot of we call meridian. Is the energy uh, way pathway goes through the body. Okay. You can see that this man has all the. It's mm -hmm. like railroad. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of different lines, and also there's a lot of points. And in Chinese uh, characters, points it's kind of like cave in kind of points. So. There's like a lot of water and river running, the energy is running. But if uh, some some points is not balanced, mm -hmm. like we have lung meridian and heart meridians, liver, spleen, we have like 12 meridians. And oh. so if once, when certain points is not balanced and the, the river, the water, the energy will stay in there. Mm -hmm. So when the energy is not staying too well, then you got sick. So by just put in needles mm -hmm. or massage the points or some other way to move the energy and usually people will get better. Oh, so right now what Jordan's talking about is that it looks like a subway map on this little guy, <laughs> which you really can't see too much, I know, because of the light. But it's got all different, like the tracks of the subway map on it <laughs> that are going. Actually, most of them are going from top and bottom, but some of them kind of are going a little bit uh, sideways and then mm -hmm. back down. And then there's little dots all the way down along, and um, those are the different points that you're yeah. speaking mm -hmm. of, right? And so each point is the correct that it represents either heart or lung or spleen, spleen or uh -huh. um, digestive, Stomach, yeah. okay. Intestine. And um, how many meridian points did you say we have, like uh, 12? Basically, uh, points, that would oh. be uh, uh, 12 meridians. 12 meridians, But okay. there's two extra, one is right uh, on the front and one's right on the back. Oh. So actually it's 14. Oh, wow. And then what are all the other little points, though? So every meridian got different points. So usually one side is 360 points. But it's a, so it's on both sides and the back too. <laughs> oh, so there's 12, 14 meridians yes, on your front and your back. You uh -huh. mean that go all the way through? Yeah. And then there's the points on those on each meridian over yeah. 300. Oh, oh, cool. So sometimes you can just test uh, we also say uh, it's an easy way just to test your body. You just mm -hmm. push some points, and then you feel sore, mm -hmm. soreness, and then you can just try to massage it. A little massage yeah. there. And then when, usually you will feel really like a bruise kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And after you massage it, uh, if you keep doing that, and then usually you, when the points get more relief and that means you're doing something good to your body. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, do you want to do a little demonstration? Yeah, okay. put a couple needles in here. <laughs> I'll show you how I've had Jordan's given me acupuncture so many times that mm -hmm. I said the big thing I wanted to show is that I really won't be screaming. It doesn't, <laughs> it really doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, you're right. Usually it's acupuncture is really relaxing. Mm. It's not only just putting needles in to hurt you, mm -hmm. <laughs> but also relax the muscles and it mm. sends some kind of message to your brain to oh. tell your brain uh, 
your body is acting better now to kind of change the formula a little bit. And then, yeah. and also a lot of people they feel very happy after the treatment, yeah. especially now everybody have some stress mm -hmm. and pressures. You know, it's very good for that. Okay, so like this one is the lung meridian. The lung. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. But also, but see, I didn't win. <laughs> you see that? Like I didn't even know it was going in there. So Good. just to so, reassure so it's everyone, just go in, and okay. you can see it, the needle moving. I can feel it. Actually, I feel it all it the go way all up the here. Way. Yeah, so it's the lung meridian. Especially when Jordan was doing that, moving energy. the energy around mm -hmm. the needle. Oh my God, I feel like this weird tingling thing. Yes. I don't know how to describe it. Usually, going the, all the, way up my the energy feeling. Some people will feel it, it's warm. And some people mm. feel cold and tingling, and some people can uh, feel electric shock from head mm. to toe. Sometimes I put needles on the head and I feel the energy shoot down to the toe. Wow. Yeah. I just found it so incredible. I mean, I want, Jordan, please correct me if I <laughs> misstate anything. But the thing, one thing is, Jordan explained to me that. There's no hole in the needle because you're not having any medicine go through it. So that's one of the things. It's much skinnier than you even think. To me, it's like a wire. Yeah. Like I think of it as like a stiff wire. And it's actually it's just very, very like thin. the hair. It's a not hair. That, yeah. That is better. Yeah, because a yeah. wire sounds like it's uh, fatter. Now, what one is this for right here? Uh, Jordan, this one is there, for like your elbow. heart. Okay. But also in Chinese medicine, heart is your mind. Mm. So it would uh, make people more calm down like and uh, regulate That'd your heart, really, it's really relaxing. Cool. Yeah, and also the important one. Now all these spots mm -hmm. that you're putting the uh, needles can also be where you do mm -hmm. acupressure, right? I could yes. do massaging on these same points. So. Right here for the heart, and over here was for lung. Lung. Okay. All right, what's the next one? I next one is a very <laughs> important one. Okay. <laughs> this is the number one point. In oh, it is. Yeah, like. Uh, right in my hand between yeah. my thumb and uh, forefinger. It's a very good painkiller point. Now, so oh, I wow, I really feel that. I had heard mm -hmm. some people talking before about if you massage that spot, mm -hmm. um, it helps relieve headaches. Yes, that's a, a painkiller point, so a lot of people mm -hmm. use that for headache. And also, uh, any part in the body, if you have pain and you uh, massage it, oh. and you will re relax your body. And oh, But when you are pushing it, okay. it can hurt a lot. But uh, after the same, after you massage a couple of times, mm -hmm. and then when the the reaction goes down, then the, the pain usually will go away. Hmm. So um, mm -hmm. that's a good. Oh, I feel that <laughs> when Jordan does it, she moves her hand over the touch. She's not touching the needle at all, it's and the moment. needles move back and forth with mm -hmm. her hand. And I just feel that. I, the energy, right, mm -hmm. just shooting up and back. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's totally a cool feeling. It's just, like, strange. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, the first time uh, mm -hmm. a Jordan did a demonstration on me on my forearm, and I could not get over feeling the energy moving all around through my hand and up and down my arm. It was so strange. Mm -hmm. and I'll tell someone that, and just like, yeah, okay, Janice, you know, whatever. And mm -hmm. um, but a few of my friends that have experienced acupuncture so far, they're like, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Sometimes I get jealous from my patients. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of time they will tell me, sometimes they can feel the energy just moving, mm -hmm. and one of my patients, you can feel the energy is like a school of fish moving from their ah. leg, her leg to her abdominal area. It's very strong and a lot of time patient after uh, during the, the treatment they are so relaxed mm. they're very relaxed mm -hmm. and like they are fully uh, rest mm -hmm. resting and they're into some kind of stage if people do meditation usually it's that kind of stage really nice and peaceful and they can just uh, let go all the the bad energy bad, ah. bad chi 
Now, any other places you want to put a needle in right now, or are we good? Or uh, I think that's good. You think that's good right now? <laughs> you want me to take uh, it out? Or? No, I thought uh, what I, that was the next thing I was going to talk about, actually, mm -hmm. is how long do you usually leave the needles in for? Once they're in, mm -hmm. I might as well let them do some work, right? <laughs> but yeah. how long, what's the formula for that? Uh, how long? Usually 30 minutes. Okay, 30 we minutes let, uh, usually. Like when the ne a lot of people they are curious, like the needle is solid. They mm -hmm. sometimes after they have couple treatment and it works so good, they they wonder if there's some medicine in the needle. Oh, into but the needle. Basically, yeah. it just uh, solid, three solid needles, and uh, the needles would do the work. Hmm. So that's why we need uh, about thirty minutes. Like uh, in Chinese medicine, if you have too much yin or too much yang. Okay. Yin usually is more female energy of weak, weakness. Oh. And yang is heat, ha, uh, too much hot uh, heat and too much uh, male or powerful energy. But oh. Chinese medicine, we uh, were talking about balance. So too much of this, too much of that is not good. So the mm -hmm. needle itself will see this area mm -hmm. in me some in energy or yang energy and so if you have too much heat mm -hmm. like a lot of people uh, acupuncture is very uh, effective when people have sport injury very fast a oh, lot of patients after treatment they can uh -huh. do a lot of position <laughs> oh, <laughs> they wow. couldn't do right away but so for that is uh, they have a lot of information inside so the needles would absorb and take out all the heat and sometimes wow. you can see the swollen muscles actually goes down. Wow. And that's you can hear so the good. <laughs> you can actually can hear the, the bones cracking because <laughs> the muscles not that tight on the bones. So wow. you have more space and more rem uh, remote. Well you make mm. me think of so many things that I wanna bring up. Um, when you're just talking about you hear the bones move. Mm -hmm. uh, a week or so ago, you did needles on my back of my neck because uh -huh. I told I get the headaches, and uh -huh. you so you put some needles around the back of my neck and my shoulder. Let me tell you, that whole day and the next day, every time I turn my head, uh -huh. it would crack. I mean, it's not really <laughs> cracking, but you can hear you hear it. that uh -huh. popping noise. Uh -huh. I forget what it is because the chiropractor told me what mm -hmm. that is, but that like popping noise the whole time, and I could not believe how loose it made my neck. Um, but I, it, it continues to work mm -hmm. after you take the needles out, yeah. uh, or I found, is that true? I mean, Yes, for some lucky, right. lucky people, <laughs> <laughs> lucky person, they do feel the needles still mm -hmm. there. And that's good because usually we leave the needles for uh, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. but so certain minutes is doing the work, but some patient they can still feel after a week, yeah. and that's good. They mm. can feel. S one of my patients, she <coughs> she have a growth in her uh, uterus, and after the trim, uh, it's like uh, half half side uh, have the baseball size. Mm -hmm. So I give her treatment, and the whole week oh. she feels so cold. She felt mm. the cold air shooting down and it was summer mm -hmm. so she had to put something to cover her ah. belly because she told me it's uh it's just so cold but actually that that time is uh, very coincident she's doing mri so ah. in a week she feel she uh she went to a doctor and she actually has two one is in her ovary okay. and the ovary one is gone wow. and the uterus one is going smaller wow I just know that for me, uh, I told Jordan that my mom had shingles. This is mm -hmm. going way back, I don't know, 25 <laughs> years ago or 30 years ago. It was a really long time ago. She had shingles and she was in so much pain that uh, she went to an acupuncturist and she said the very first visit, it cut half the pain. The second visit, the other half was gone. and. Um, I always remembered that, you know, mm -hmm. and then when I met Jordan, it was like, oh, please, you know, help me with some of my mm -hmm. different complaints, <laughs> and uh, it really has. What are some of the complaints or problems, I shouldn't mm -hmm. just say complaints, <laughs> problems, 
diagnoses. Mm. I don't know the right language how you refer uh, to it. Just that some symptoms. symptoms yeah. that people see you for. Like uh, a lot of sport injury that's very uh, effective. Okay. So most people they can feel the pain uh, gone right away. Right away. But okay. also migraine, especially for women, mm. because I used to have migraines, very okay. bad migraines. So I would put needles on my head, mm -hmm. and it usually works so good. Oh. I know usually a lot of most women actually suffer are suffering mm -hmm. from that, and a lot of female symptoms, menopause, mm. and I sometimes I just teach patient which point to work on, okay. and uh, their That's half great. life just went away. If they work That's on it, <laughs> yeah, sometimes right. I would tell them, but mm. they would say, yeah, okay. <laughs> but if they really work on it, mm -hmm. they can feel it. And diabetes. Oh, really? Because it will make the function of your pancreas better. Okay. And, uh, and also, uh, recently, some weird situation, mm -hmm. like one patient, she keep biting her tongue. So wow. she went to a lot of doctors. And so she came to me, I said, let me try. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't so sure I can help her. But only one treatment, she didn't come back. Mm -hmm. So I called her, she said, it was fine. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> I think I would feel so good, you uh -huh. know, to be able to help someone like that. And then they just mm -hmm. feel so much better. I mean, yeah. that changes people's lives. I know, like recently I have a patient, she has Parkinson. So she oh. has pain all over her body. Mm -hmm. And actually, last time when she got the treatment, sh she came in with a cane, but hmm. she walked out without a cane. Wow. And she was very happy because she told me since she got Parkinson's, she wasn't herself. Oh. And so I was very happy. Wow. You know. It's very good feeling. It's like you can see people not improving. Mm -hmm. So if for physical pain, then mm -hmm. you've talked about like, um, sports injuries. I know we've talked in the past about back mm -hmm. pain, um, menopause. So mm -hmm. that's great. Any females with their hormone mm -hmm. problems or even just a regular cycle, um, diabetes, mm -hmm. you mentioned. Um, now, what about different emotional problems also? Stress or depression mm -hmm. or obsessive compulsive behavior? Uh, have you seen any uh, progress with that? Or Yes, actually. Uh, Chinese medicine, we are all talking about the mind and the balance okay. and the energy. And usually uh, when people have a lot of pressure, anxiety, mm -hmm. even some people couldn't sleep. Like my best friend, she, she had insomnia for months. Mm -hmm. And after the treatment, she can go back to sleep, no problem. Wow. So to us, it's that kind of pressure, imbalance, mm -hmm. if we can find uh, what is the right place, right meridian, mm -hmm. right points to to focus on and usually work pretty good. Wow. And a lot of people, they feel so relaxed. Mm. I have one of my friends that's in LA. I've been, you know, chat on the phone different times mm -hmm. and I've told her that I've been seeing you for acupuncture. And she always compares notes because she's always like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so rested, but in a peaceful way. You mm -hmm. know, when I'm saying yeah. oh, I'm so tired, it's in a peaceful way. And she says she falls asleep when she has it done all the time and then yeah. she'll go home and she'll get tired and sometimes I've had acupuncture done before I've come to work <laughs> and my other friend too actually and then we're both here going oh man I can't wait to get home <laughs> go sit down and relax but it's a good uh tiredness it's not like mm -hmm. a depressed tiredness it's like really relaxed like oh man I feel so great um but th I think one of the really surprising things for me is, you know, I initially heard about acupuncture, like I said, physical pain, and uh, so many people do suffer with physical pain. And then to also understand that it's for emotional pain as well. Um, and I think for general mm. health care too, right? Yeah. You don't have to even be in pain. You can yeah. just want general good health. Yeah, in China, we do a lot of just, you know, massage some points, mm -hmm. like it's four finger under your knee. Okay. If you work on that point, mm -hmm. and outside of the bone here, mm -hmm. uh, we say you can walk 300 miles and don't feel tired, and you wow. can live 
wow. up to 100 years old. <laughs> wow. But there's a lot of just simple points when mm. I told you around the ankles and the uh, elbows mm -hmm. and this area mm -hmm. and inside here. If you massage them all the time, mm -hmm. you won't get sick. And mm -hmm. the easy way, you can just uh, twist your fingers because uh, there's six meridian star from your hand, the fingers. So if oh, every start day, from your fingers. so every day oh. if you just uh, jump, we, we say jump the meridian, oh. and you just go through every fingers. What do you call it? Jumping it or jolting kind of it? Like, like getting it a start. Yeah, you mean? getting the start because okay. it's like different meridians, like different rivers, and you start it from oh. the every fingertip, and also the toe too, if you have time. Okay. I didn't know why or how that connected. I know mm. you had mentioned about twisting your yeah. fingers before to me. Like the lung okay. stuff from here and the heart oh, and so pericardium. Um, oh, just one other thing I wanted to bring up about what mm -hmm. uh, someone could come to you for is addictions also. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. People that are out there suffering with addictions the acupuncture can really make a difference there too, right? Yeah, yeah. we have a lot of points, even in the ears, mm -hmm. and we we'll help them, uh, like quit smoking, our method is to clean your lung. Mm. So after that, when you smoke, your lung is cleaner. Mm -hmm. When you smoke, you feel like the cigarette is kind of disgusting. Mm. And a lot of patients told me they don't feel good after the treatment if they start to smoke. Mm -hmm. Jordan, mm. there's so much that you're sharing with us. It's just like, oh my God, <laughs> it's just <laughs> like a river of information. There's so much more. But I want you uh, to give your phone number again okay. for people and uh, reach out to the audience. Okay, so my number is uh, 518, area code 364-5934. Yeah, to give Jordan a call. And, yeah, uh, any questions, really, um, we're really interested if anybody have any questions, um, I'm here, just That's ask great. me. And, and otherwise, by appointment, uh, it depends how long they're in there. An hour could be 40 minutes, sometimes. Usually the hour, initial yeah. would take okay. an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, but for my initial mm -hmm. ones, okay. But after that, the following hour. Okay. But after that, usually I will give you some pressure points kind of Chinese massage, mm -hmm. try to uh, s smooth the energy too, so take a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Jordan, for that being was my here pleasure. and sharing <laughs> with us. I think it's great. Cool. Thank you. And thank you for watching this show on acupuncture. And give Jordan a call at 364-5934. Thanks again.